Hey folks, Randy here with Doing Cut and Trim. So, I'm a God-fearing man. I think you guys know that if you've watched this channel for any length of time. And uh, so I, I don't necessarily believe in coincidences. Um, I'm not one of those guys that's like thinks every single thing that happened was like divinely inspired. You know, sometimes dumb stuff happens. But, well, let me just tell you what happened. So, when I mow lawns, I, uh, I have a very set system for doing it. Um, I do everything the exact same way every single time, even if it's a brand new customer. As soon as I get into that onto the property, I clock in, take the uh, before picture, and then I become a maniac. And I am working as fast and as hard as I possibly can uh, so I can still do a good job. But, <clears throat> but get that sucker completed as quickly as possible. Um, and so, and I've got hearing protection in because, you know, I want to save my ears and, you know, all that fun stuff. So, I'm uh, heading to a property and talking to my wife while we're driving, while I'm driving. And uh, she asked me where I'm going. And uh, I said, uh, I don't know, some, I think his name, well, I said his name. And uh, she was like, okay. So we're just driving along. And just out of nowhere, she says, she says, um, have you, uh, have you talked to him? You know, or something. I was like, no, I mean, you know, she was like, I wonder if I would talked to him. And I was like, well, I have no idea if you talked to him or not. And so she searches her, his name in her, uh, in her email. And she pulls it up and realizes this is a, this, this guy, it's kind of a weird case. Um, he has a very large property, but uh, most of it's woods. And so I, she had actually, um, I was supposed to double check the property was the size that he said it was before actually mowing, um, which I had no idea. If we hadn't been talking at that particular moment and she hadn't thought to check her email, um, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't have known to look at that because it just, you know, you're so busy. Um, so she was like, you need to make sure, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, okay. So uh, I get to the property, and normally, normally what I would do, as soon as I got to the property, headphones in, trimmer out, go. Just, you know, go like a maniac. But I needed to check the property. So I get out of the truck, and uh, I still have my hearing protection in, because I just, you know, I, I like to listen to, like, the book or whatever. And so I'm walking, and just for whatever reason, um, I decided to take my headphones out. Yeah, I don't know. Um, and uh, so I'm walking into the backyard and I start to, you know, confirm. And I start hearing, honestly, what sounds like a live electric wire. This bzzz, You know, and it's like, what in the world is like that? I'm trying to figure out what it is. And the yard's pretty overgrown. And um, as I'm walking back there, I'm hearing this noise and then I look down and dude when I say thousands of ground bees I'm not kidding thousands I mean literally everywhere you looked it was just the ground was just covered in these bees and I was right on the edge of that so I uh, <laughs> I walked backwards carefully and I mean, like, like, I was in it actually. Like, they were like buzzing around my feet. Um, so I walked backwards, got out of that area, uh, knocked on the customer's door, and was like, "Hey, you got a ground bee problem. You got to deal with this before we're coming out." Uh, and uh, <coughs> which, which they did. Um, but uh, if I had done my normal process, if I hadn't talked to my wife uh, ahead of time. Um, I would have just grabbed the trimmer and I would have gone through and I would not have known about those thousands of ground bees until they were attacking me. And I, that, I don't know. I've never seen that many bees at one time. And I, I got a feeling that would have been a one-way ticket to the hospital, man. I don't think I'd have been driving myself either. I think an emergency, an ambulance would probably have been coming to pick me up. So, uh, I, <laughs> you know, I, I, I'm... I'm not saying that was divine intervention, but it certainly felt that way uh, because it was just really random. Everything about it was very random. Um, when my wife checked her email, she actually hadn't, it had been like 11 days uh, since she had talked to that guy. 
and she hadn't so so basic I, I guess my point is we've signed up so many customers we're sitting at 99 as of the recording of this video that there's it was kind of amazing that she thought to remember that and then and that she was able to that we just happened to be talking when I was on the way to that yard and she just happened to remember she needed to we needed to double check that property because I'm telling you man if that hadn't happened I don't know it, that would have been a bad situation so uh, I just wanted to tell you guys that story uh, I thought that was pretty wild um, it's probably the scariest experience I've had uh, since going honestly since I've been in business uh, I don't know how much that would have put me out of commission but it would have been bad so just wanted to tell you that story thank God nothing happened um, and uh, see you next time